punk means going against the status quo being like no fuck you like i'm gonna be what i want and you're not gonna like it and i don't care i never thought that like anybody would like accept me but you're acting too white or like why are you trying to dress like white people the alternative is when you like take that yeah and you write it on the tissue Wipe your ass with it. Like they wouldn't classify a darker skinned person to be alternative. They would classify you as being ghetto. Colorism is a big part of why black people can't just be expressive of themselves and white supremacy as well. Let's put that in there. I don't have to be the best. I don't have to know all the knowledge to mosh and fucking punch people in the head if I, that's what I want to do. I feel like there's nothing more goth or punk or alternative than being black. They say the scene isn't about what you look like, but how you feel. Black alternative people have always existed, but it has not been without alienation and ridicule in whichever scene they inhabit. Even though it's easy to spot how blackness and alternative goth and punk style intersect. My name is Katie. I am a filmmaker and alternative clown from Brooklyn. In my formative years, there were pretty brutal consequences for not fitting a monolithic black mold. So I always identified deeply with feeling like an outsider. I turned to music and film to know I wasn't alone. My earliest memory is of Rochelle in the 1996 cult classic, The Craft. She was frequently bullied and struggled being a token witch in her coven. When I look back at the roles I did in the 90s, I kind of called them alterna black girl magic chick roles. You know what I mean? I did not realize what a big deal it was mm -hmm. to be the person of color in basically what would have been an all-white movie. What was your response that you were getting, I guess, after the film had, you know, kind of been out there for a couple years? The thing about a movie like The Craft is it did okay when it was out, right? right, right. But it started to grow and become a cult oh, movie. Wow. Well, one day I was somewhere random in America in the middle of the country and I get off an Amtrak train and there's like a 12-year-old black girl and she goes, you, 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 you're, you're, in, you're in the movie. And I went, oh, she's having the same response I had to mm -hmm. seeing someone who looked like me when I was her age in a movie, which was very few and far between. You are, in a sense, part of the pioneers, right? Part of being the pioneer generation means it's lonely and painful. The past few years have been a new age for Black people in scenes that may have once seemed inaccessible. Rappers and artists Rico Nasty, Lustic Puppy, and creative makeup artist Raisa Flowers, as they depict self-expression and artistry that have often been made invisible in the Black community and usually perceived as sole domain of white social outcasts. You know that you're a black girl, right? Your hair's supposed to be sold in, not spiked up. I did the mohawk with the braids because that was literally kind of at the peak where people was like, she's trying to be white. You know, most most women, women of color, they prefer to wear their hair like this. And you coming out here with this. Don't ever tell a black girl what to do with her hair. Like I listened to a lot of rock when I was younger. And I felt like I was really judged by a lot of like my black friends about what I listened to and how I wanted to be. I, it kind of annoyed me that a lot of people are like kind of using the punk and alternative aesthetic in their everyday now when they made pe fun of people that were like us, you know what I'm saying? When I already lived in Sugarland, so that was like a really wide area, I felt kind of like a traitor. Even though I didn't do anything except yeah. express myself, I, I was I was made to feel like that's not what we do. We do yeah. You're siding with them. There weren't like a lot of people who were into the like dark and spooky stuff that I was into because it was seen as like evil. What reasons do you think are why we're like limited? Like even if someone's alternative or different, they always highlight the light skinned person. They will classify you as being ghetto. You're just saying that because you think it's related to whiteness. I hate that they just put that on the black community and just like, I wish people would be more open and just willing to people who are different. It makes you want to tone it down. Like y'all can't do it. I, I see y'all. 
As black people in the scene, no matter how much we show up, we are continually confronted by internal and external gatekeepers. We constantly have to prove how authentic we are by unrealistic double standards. What is the craziest reaction you've gotten from somebody for doing something that is considered authentic? The worst reaction I've ever gotten is from a white cis man. Like, I was wearing a metal band shirt and he like came up to me and was like, Who's the first, like what was their first album, their first fucking song or whatever. And I was like, get the fuck away from me. So because I have on this shirt and I probably like paid to be here and I pay, it paid for this merch because I don't know the music. I could be a new fan. Right. That challenging aspect is annoying. Like once someone like uh, Third Eye Chakra turned me into a Blink-182 cover, people were in the comments like, y'all don't even know who this, what this band is. And I'm like, Blocked, first of all. It's so fucking weird to do that when it's punk music. It's like, bro, this is supposed to be so anti everything that you're doing to me right now. You're anti, you you're know? Anti. <laughs> you're mad. <laughs> Why do you guys think it's important in general to take space within these, you know, subcultures? There are very limited platforms for us to represent ourselves, especially not for Black women. For me specifically, there was definitely a sense of self-hatred. Um, I didn't want to be Black. I didn't want to be a Black alternative kid. I wanted to be an alternative kid, which means like straightening my hair and yeah. it. Yeah. It was a very um, dark part of my identity because within me trying to understand the things that I love, there was also so much self-hatred mixed into it. I do feel like since I did not, you know, feel comfortable enough to express myself, you know, more so when I was younger, I feel like I had to like, you know, kind of mute myself. It's an ever-growing thing, like we're continuously like learning how to like, you know, become comfortable. Like I'm still muting myself every day. I get white people together, I get all types of people together, I get gay people together, I get straight people together, and we marched together, actually. But you won't yeah. ever credit me that because it's like, then, then I have too much more. Right. It honestly makes me so happy that I make music in the scene that I make music in because it is really dominated by white people. And I really just love to see like brown faces in the crowd like yeah. fucking shit up. Fuck you! Fuck you! There's this quote from The Office where Dwight is like, if you want to get the white people to do something, you have to get the black people to do it. To get the white people to think it's cool, then you have to get yeah. the black people to stop doing it. And I feel like that is like the thesis of all cultures and subcultures in this country. It's hard to ignore the dramatic new shift to celebrating alternative black femmes on the internet. While the Black Lives Matter movement cuts through social media and social conversation, but whilst many more are receptive to imagery of Black people embracing alternative identities, it's not without its battles. I really hate the fact that like after, you know, like the whole George Floyd situation, now all of a sudden everybody's Black Lives Matter, all of a sudden everybody wants to like spam posts like Black women and Black people like that are alternative. But it's like, where was all this energy before? Like, why does it take somebody to have to die? for you to give a shit or, or pretend like you give a shit. Like that rubs me the wrong way. The algorithm is biased. And if you're not looking for black punk girls, like you're probably not gonna see them on your feed. People look down on us and right. they copied us later on. And it's just like, mm -hmm. black people create everything. Black people are the originators of everything. So who was the first person to show the electric guitar? A black lady. Right, right. Black woman. Right. Elvis stole from, what was it? Chuck Berry? Chuck Berry was a black man. The right. stretching of the ears. Right. Culture. Body mod is tattoos on your face. Right. Means something. The amount of piercings you have on your nose means how many properties you owned in some tribes. Like it's all goes back to our roots. I used to feel so sorry. I'm so sorry I chose to cut my hair off and uh, get piercings, but it's like, yep. no, I'm a blessing. Just like having the courage to be like, yeah, I did that and I'm not hurting anybody. And that's what alt means to me. I need people to know that black can look like anything. I know through my existence that people understand that black is expansive and that's really beautiful to me. Like when I'm walking around, I'll see like younger girls, younger black girls especially, and they're like looking at me like, oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. Yeah. And you can tell like they're like, 
want to do that. You know, yeah. it helps open up that imagination. Having black skin, having black parents, stepping out into the world and facing just like any type of racial, any littlest type of racial profiling is bomb right. as shit. Right. And it is alternative. Being black is alternative because guess what? Being black is different. When I wear my spikes for even fashion week and people are like, girl, you blow them with kids. Right. You, you stay. Right. You know wink, you wink at their boyfriend. So <laughs> yes. fuck like what? That's you gotta shut these hoes.